the last Blocks Fruits episode, I may have made a wee bit amount of progress. I think I was at like 300 something, and now I'm at level 580, and I got Dark Blade V2. We completed the Observation Hockey Quest, and now it is time to grind for the second seat. We're not gonna get there this time, but we're gonna go ahead and go to our next destination in the Skylands and start defeating those NPCs till we get to 625, which is taking us to the final area, the Fountain City. I learned a lot in my last live stream, and if you haven't been tuning into those, what are you doing? Subscribe to the channel. First of all, like the video. You guys are crushing the like goals lately, and it helps me know that you guys like the series and I want to continue Blocks Roots. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell because we're almost to 300k subs, and I know there's a lot of people coming to this channel that probably think they're subbed because this is actually a new channel of mine. It's not the Russo Plays channel. So, like, if you're not subbed, what are you doing? Subscribe. YouTube will think, like, our channel's blown up if a bunch of you sub, and then, like, no, we'll win. We'll win YouTube. Anyways, we're going to go to the Skylands. We're going to defeat the Thunder God over and over again until we get to 625, and it's going to be a quite a bit of grinding. But... There's only one more area till we get to the second C. So we're probably going to complete that final grind, get to level 700 and uh, or maybe just get close enough. You know what I mean? We'll probably get to Fountain City, not quite complete it, but make a lot more progress. And I think what I'll do is I'll stream until I get to the second city. It's going to be so satisfying because this is farther than I got the last time I played Blocks Fruits, like a year ago, seven months ago. And I'm finally getting into closer to end game stuff. It's going to be sick. Yesterday in the stream, everybody was helping me with a lot of stuff, including the Darkblade V2 quest. So now I have a little bit more damage on this and I can hold my abilities, which is really, really cool. I also got Observation Hockey, so I can use this while fighting enemies to have different dodge amounts and I can increase that as I level it up. So I just got to remember to turn it on while I'm fighting, but I sometimes forget I'm a noob. I also have to transform into the Buddha ability and uh, continue using that. But so far, these are my stats. We're doing pretty good. I'm getting pretty pro. Still still bad, don't worry, I know. But we're getting close. We're almost to a thousand sword and I'm still using sword uh, because I'm using my dark blade, but I may switch to a combat ability because everybody suggests that I should probably use like water kung fu and get these masteries up and the damage up or I should use like dark step. So I may convert to combat pretty soon, but for now we're gonna stay using our dark blade just because it's a bit easier for me and I like grinding with it. All right, check this out. I'm gonna transform. I'm gonna use dark blade. I'm gonna go jump, 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 jump jump, jump, Z, boom. Yup, I know things. Somebody told me in the chat yesterday and it allows me to, to go pretty far. All right, we're gonna untransform so we can fit through this area. Alrighty, so we're gonna make sure we have our home point set here in case we die. Collect these quests and we're gonna grind out, Uh, wait, no, 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 no. We, we wanna grind out Thunder God, right? Yeah, we don't wanna grind Whisper anymore. This guy sucks. Whisper's easy, bro. We were just pummeling him yesterday. The, it's insane how much easier it is to grind this game with a group of people. I didn't realize. And when I was grinding in a group, it was fast, guys. Let me just tell you what. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just keep on uh, doing these quests. Let's start with the Thunder God quest. I wanna see like how fast I can beat him. 8 million experience. Let's transform, get our shift lock on, get our dark blade out, got our hockey on. We'll turn observational on. Gotta actually buy respawn bosses real quick. And uh, wait, can I buy more fruit storage? Oh no, you can only buy one. Okay, so I do have plus one fruit storage, but that means you can only store like two fruits, right? Or something like that. Or two of the same. I don't actually know what that means. How much can you store in your in your inventory? Is it like infinite? Like how, how big is this? Also, I learned about blacksmith uh, materials the other day. Like you can collect these materials and upgrade your weapons. So in the second C, I think I'm able to get like dark shards and unlock uh, like a damage enhancement from the blacksmith with this dark blade. So I'm excited to do that. But here he is, the Thunder God. It's time to destroy this fool. This guy sucks. Kidding me? He's nothing, bro. Watch this. Ready? Shift lock on. Time to use my powers. Die. Yup, yup. And then dark hair slash die. Yup, yup, yup. Looks like an idiot. I'm not even getting touched. Oh, I forgot observation hockey. <laughs> I always forget. Okay. We're doing good. He's almost dead in like two hits. Look at this. What an easy battle. Oh, and he got me with that thunder move at the end. But yeah, look at that. The dark, the um, the thunder god gets me like so many levels, but we need to get to 625. So I'm going to sit here, do a little bit of grinding. We're going to make it to this fountain city and uh, we will then go onward in our journey to get to the second sea. We are almost there. We're at level 617 and it's a good time to point out that I just looked at my old videos. I started playing Blocks Roots for the first time five months ago, almost six. And and uh, I basically played it for like a week or two weeks. It wasn't even that long. I made like 12 or 15 videos or something like that. And then I stopped for a while because the grind got too hard. Well, I'm proud to say that we have officially passed where we were in our first playthrough. So I started a brand new account and we on this account, Blocks Fruits McGee, were finally past where I was. I was at level 605 when I stopped playing last time. And now I'm about to unlock Fountain City, but there's also a fruit. I kind of want to get it real quick. How long till it 
of despawns. I, I kind of want to like level up real quick before I go down, but I, I feel like I should go get the fruit. Should I go get the random fruit? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to go get the fruit. It's too enticing. I got to go get the fruit. I'll be right back. Wait, I forgot. I'm in like this weird sky zone. And I have to teleport to get out of here. This is actually really awkward. Oh, wait, no, I fly all the way down. That's sick. Oh, but now I have to, <laughs> now I have to get, get myself out of here. This is a, uh, this is a predicament. Well, good thing I have like unlimited energy. <laughs> Might as well start putting more in energy. I also, while I was grinding, I got water Kung Fu up a little bit. If you look right there, it's at 68. So I only fought like a few enemies and I got it to 68. It's pretty fast how you can master things once you get pretty far in the game. But I think we'll learn that in the second C it's even faster. Wait, what is this shop? What is this little place right here? I, I haven't seen this yet. Mad scientist. Oh, this is electric fighting style. Ah, so when you learn a fighting style, can you swap between styles easily? Or do you have to like go back to the character and then equip the style? Is that how you do it? Anyways, a lot of people were recommending electric style. I think it's pretty cool, but we'll, we'll try that in a, in a stream pretty soon. But first we need to find the fruit. I hope it's near the jungle because I also want to do my random fruit of the day. We'll do that and we'll see what we get. Okay, it seems like it's either jungle or Middletown. Uh, yeah, I got to go around here. It's not quite here. Ah, here it is at Frozen Village. It's got to be leopard fruit. It's got to be like the best fruit in the game. Imagine. All right, here we are. What do we got? This better be worth it. You got me out of my questing for this. It better be something good. Okay, where is this thing? There it is. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me it's a kilo. Don't tell me I came all this way for a freaking kilo fruit. Are you kidding me? You know what they say? Imagine I just eat it. <laughs> I am done with kilo fruits, bro. Every time I find a random fruit, it's a kilo fruit. Every single time. Okay, well, it's time to do my random fruit. At least we could do that. Block stealer's cousin. But it seems like I'm only going to have to do this quest about two more times to defeat Thunder God. And then I will finally go to Fountain City. I've never unlocked that area. That's going to be so sick. What do we got here? What do you got for me today, brother? Let's buy it. Ice fruit. Wow. That's kind of sick. I, I don't know if this is like good or bad, but I'm going to store it if I can. Yeah, dude, that's pretty sick. It's it's rarer than blocks for, or it's rarer than smoke fruit. And, uh, you know, it's, I definitely want to try it at some point. But OK, back to the questing. I've been leveling up observation hockey a lot also. And uh, uh, like I said, I got my water kung fu up a bit, so might switch fighting styles, but at least I got something going. We're right there. We're so close to the fountain. Okay, this is officially the final time I'm fighting the Thunder God for this uh, quest line to get me to 625. I think I'll get to 626 from this. This is it. This is our moment. We've never made it to this zone. This is the farthest I've ever made it in Roblox Blocks Fruits. We are on our grind for the second C. Now, what I might do is a stream later today as I'm watching, as I'm recording this. Like I say, whenever you're watching the videos you know check this check the channel i might be live oh god oh god wow that's awkward i guess it's all over <laughs> oh no oh no i'm back here bro i couldn't have just killed him i wasn't paying attention i died but yeah check the channel i might be live as you're seeing these videos but also finish the video watch time of course but yeah i think i'm gonna do a grind for the second c stream where we basically just stream until we get to the second c that's what i might do so it can be pretty exciting and we'll finally make it there all right i know i died but this this guy better have like one hp because he was he was weak and I, I can't believe I died. I'm so stupid. This is the final hit, the final blow. And then he's dead. And then I win. Oh, he's got full health. Great. And there it is. Oh my gosh. Finally, we have made it out of this area. So now it's time to go to Fountain City. That's right. I've never made it here. Should I like teleport again? How should I, how should I get down here? <laughs> it's time to finally boat over to Fountain City. Now I'm not going to be completing the quest line because like I said, I'm going to be encouraging you guys to check out my stream where I will try to get to the second sea. So if you missed it though i'll try to make it into a vod video or i'll go over what we did in the stream but finally time to get to the fountain city final area in the first sea. so i don't really know how the seas work i'm assuming what happens is you teleport to this second sea and it's all new areas is that what it is that how it works i'm not really sure how it works but i'm assuming all these points of interest like the jungle the coliseum the frozen village the pirate village all of these will not be here and it'll be like all new zones Zones. Or it won't be like that. I don't know. I'm assuming it will. But I have been eyeing this place ever since playing the game and I never made it there. I'm proud. I'm just proud because we made it here. Not only do we make it here and we didn't last time, but we made it here much faster. So now that I like know what I'm doing and I'm having all of your guys help uh, grinding the game and I have like pretty good idea of how to get to where I need to be. First C is pretty easy for me. Second C going to be harder. I've heard that Dark Blade isn't very good and I'm going to need fighting styles and I haven't really mastered any fighting styles and I'm not really too particular on how to fully get the best ones and use that. So I'm going to need a lot of practice and learning. But here we are, Fountain City. This is it. We got to set the home point as always. And here is the quest. So the first quest is going to be Galley Pirate, Galley Captain, and then Cyborg.
Cyborg. Cyborg's gonna be 675 to beat, so it's not too hard to get there, but these guys don't give that much experience. It's almost better to fight the Thunder God over and over again, because I get 8 million. You know what I mean? I might go back and just fight him over and over again, but whoops, let's transform. Use this. Observation hockey. Let's see how fast I kill these guys. Yup. Destruction. Total destruction. Ha ha ha. So this is Fountain City. We ended up getting Observation Hockey. We ended up getting Dark Blade V2, and we've made it to the final area in the first C. So lots of progress in this episode and stay tuned to the next one when I should be getting all the way to the second C in one stream and then we'll make a video in the second C and uh, I'm kind of becoming pro now in Blocks Fruits. We're doing our thing, guys. I'll complete this quest once just to see how much it gives me, but make sure you like the video if you haven't already subscribed if you're new and if you're enjoying these Blocks Fruit videos, definitely just leave me a comment or something, okay? I'd like to communicate with you all. There we go. So this is it. I'm gonna have to do some grinding, but we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and 